let's see we do have the four of cups and the nine of cups we have a desire and it might have been you know a missed opportunity somebody was not paying attention somebody didn't see the opportunity in it right nine of cups page of wands passion sensuality flirt chemistry or a fire sign and they might have been a little bit childish um page of wands right it's um young energy they might feel um youthful and um full of uh, playfulness and joy and then we have you with the nine of cups you know what cancer you'll get your wish fulfillment whatever that is the chariot and the nine of cups this is all your energy getting all your desires nine of cups knight of cups this is also you but this is my i love you i want you i want to make love to you energy right so um whoever you love they love you back that's also the energy right that is the same level of desire and emotions and an offer ace of pentacles new beginnings nine of cups ace of pentacles building something solid in building something beautiful this is the investment. I am going to put the effort in my connection with Cancer, right? That's the energy. So let's have bottom of the deck, absolutely reciprocation. Six of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Justice, Queen of Wands, the star energy. Oh, baby, we might have two feminine energies here and even justice is a feminine energy. So you are still a little bit in trouble, but at the same time, that's beautiful because I'm sensing one of your energy. One of these energies is yours. Uh, we do have the Knight of Swords. If it comes back again, we know it's yours. And we have masculine energy. King. Oh my God, such beautiful energies, Cancer. Such beautiful energies. But first of all, I love the overall energy because I um, believe, Cancer, you avoided... Uh, for some love and passion to be reciprocated uh, with the justice and six of pentacles you um, expected karma at some point to kick in because you did good so we expect good when we do good right some decisions of some sort um, it is the energy also of splitting assets but I don't feel this is about a divorce we're gonna look into this um, but we do have two feminine energies here queen of pentacles queen of wands one is very passionate, one is um, house and home oriented, and we have the justice right in between. So for some of you, it might be and the star card, alignment, higher self, um, counseling and divine guidance, right? So for some of you, it might be actually in two minds about, I might be picking up, we're going to see how it goes, but I'm sensing a decision between two people. Um... And it goes back to who am I going to reciprocate my love, right? Um, two. And with the star is we finally have the clarity and the guidance and the idea, right? And enough information and enough transformation to make a, a, a good decision because justice is also a final decision. Can also very well be a same-sex relationship I'm picking up, two feminine energies together. Um, and that is a decision time. And that is a decision to reciprocate, a decision to heal a connection between the two of you. But let's see. So Cancer, past energies on your side. The person you are dealing with, mutual energies. Current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual. And let's have the possible outcome. On your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. Bottom of the deck, Wheel of Fortune, absolutely changes. And High Priestess, so many major arcana, right? So we might be going through a transformation, and that's all right. It's part of life, and it starts with a big, 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 big decisions. A, a big decision sorry not many i feel one so cancer in the past ten of pentacles nine of pentacles right for some of you because it's a love reading this speaks of uh, going from having a family to being single um this speaks also of a very stable and kind and um committed connection that you have with somebody even if you decided you know what 
um, you know, let's um, let's have some independence there. For some of you, you have kids, you had kids with somebody, and um, and we moved into that energy of being a single mom, single dad, taking care of kids. Ten of Pentacles is a very abundant energy, is uh, energy of nurturing and and taking care of and ensuring that everybody has um, everything. Right, is the energy of the provider, and yet. We have this nine of pentacles energy you know still being single and um and leading a life like kind of a of, of a single life but boy so much abundance right and so much stability i am picking up the energy of a cancer who was so confident and so good in his skin or her skin right this person of yours cancer six of swords five of pentacles somebody might have abandoned you or they walked away for some peace of mind in some way because they might have felt rejected um, pushed away left alone this is the energy of poverty so they might have walked away even if it costed them something you know um, but again um, I feel that however this happened you were in a good place and they needed to work towards their peace of mind and 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 happiness and stability and they were left quite um i don't i don't know if broke but um five of pentacles is the energy of losing money losing stability losing finances and also having no communication whatsoever with you and they had to, to to deal with this right that was the six of swords they may have moved away like physically like changing states and you know um traveling away mutual energies between the two of you cancer we do have the five of swords and the seven of wands conflict defeat defensiveness blocking um i need time i need space walk away uh no thank you that is the energy here right standing your ground whatever they were bringing to the table was not enough um and we kind of try to solve the problems with the words right we know this one is energies of insults is the energies of kind of um, answering back in a dynamic of, of um, you know okay you pick up a fight I'll find a reason to fight back you know kind of energy where are we right now oh isn't it interesting now you mirror them in the past we do have the energy of ten of pentacles and the five of pentacles we might feel rejected right now or lonely five of pentacles is a, an energy of feeling lonely feeling rejected abandoned in our corner a little bit but ten of pentacles i don't know if you feel rejected by family and um kids maybe you have children you and um you feel that there is no communication there but we went from independence and abundance to a little bit of feeling lonely isolated a little bit uh, so I don't know what happened you tell me you know because absolutely justice is all over this energy so everything will be uh, brought back in balance you know and we have again feminine we have uh, queen of wands energy of passion and queen of pentacles energies of nurturing and stability so I'm not seeing a thing that you need to worry about but I can understand emotions right and we might feel that maybe right now it's kind of a lonely uh, place to be um, and of course we have to deal with all this conflict justice five of swords we might be fighting for kids ten of pentacles twice is the energy of children and legacy and future so we might um, be going through that kind of you know um, where we need to fight for our stability we need to fight uh, for um, keeping contact keeping lines of communication with children family members um, open and we are a little bit low i know now this person of yours um cancer they have the lovers gemini energy and the chariot this is your energy they still love you what do you want me to say they still love you they still have emotions for you they still want to be with you this is the energy because lovers is about choices in love this is i choose you right you are the one that i chose you are the one I want to have this love with. And again, they might be away long distance, feeling lonely, just like you. Okay. And, um, and you know, look at the card. They think about making love to you. That's here, the deck. <laughs> I'm just saying. But mutual energies between the two of you, two of cups, 
Cancer, you have a lot of love with this person and the Seven of Cups. So much love, such a soulmate bond, such a connection, right? Body, mind and soul, that's the Two of Cups and the Seven of Cups. And yet we are confused, daydreaming and um, decisions and daydreaming. Um, but yeah, it's the energy. It's not like the Five of Cups, but it is the energy of... Um, feeling low and a little bit of regret but still the love is strong right and the bond is strong and we know it and we feel it it was a hell of a fight right but i say to myself sometimes we are so passionate about that you know we might go overboard um i don't know how that is but i know it happens so you know um because it's a it's an extreme right five of swords seven of wands is like fight all you know all day kind of and very easy we would pick up fights like this but then right now is the energy it maybe took some distance between the two of you to realize that without each other you feel lonely and actually we want to have that bond you know and probably believing that we can work with i i do have an energy here of somebody having choices that's why i say i probably pick up the energy of a masculine energy cancer having two feminine possibility two feminine energies around him in some way you know and yet we desire that person that special person right and we feel lonely without them even even if it's a it's a challenge being together might be a very uh, challenging situation there and boy they love you cancer they love you so much Moving forward, taking action for stability and family. We do have the Knight of Swords and the Four of Wands. This is the energy of marriage, of stability, of commitment, the energy of celebrations, of weddings, proposals. And the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. I don't feel this is another person, Cancer. This is you feeling the fire in your belly and going after what you want because that is nothing uh, more important, actually, for a Cancer in general. But then stability and family right and we have you in uh, fighting mode ten of cups three of cups they come to the table with the end they are they would die to have a reconciliation with you cancer this person uh three of cups ten of cups offering you happiness and um, a happy family a blissful life um, surrounded by um, you know family and kids or whatever uh, you have with this person and the energy of celebrations and happiness and having easy breezy kind of energy they would die to hold you again because you shop here with the lovers they would um, you know they would sell their soul to the devil to make love to you and offer you this blissful life ten of cups three of cups Mutual energies between the two of you, Ten of Cups and King of Cups. Are you kidding me, Cancer? This is the most beautiful, beautiful reading ever. A blissful life and you show up here again as the King of Cups, offering emotional stability. You do, they do, they want you, they love you. There is no doubt in their mind. And again, this energy of, I would sell my soul to the devil to hold you, right? such a beautiful energy such a beautiful energy and i'm sensing might be choices because we have seven of cups in the middle of the reading we might have they might have but it's so not important it's so not predominant and i'm sensing the ones and the pentacles are all about the passion and stability they want to offer and you know what cancer we have the most beautiful energies in the deck in terms of stability it's ten of pentacles and you have it twice the most beautiful energy in terms of emotions is the ten of cups and you get it twice right in mutual energies and their side so if this doesn't mean that they want to make you happy like crazy i wonder what uh, this is right beautiful do we need guidance for this I mean, if somebody loves us like this, do we really need guidance? No, we are taking it, right? Because it's a, it's a divine love. It's a beautiful love. It's body, mind, and soul with the two of cups, right? Body, mind, and soul. But let's ask for some guidance. Let's see what we need to know. Okay, this one. 
Cancer have patience. Love is patient and kind always. Okay? That is guidance there. I don't know who's picking up the fight, baby, but have patience. Love is patient and kind always. We have dating. Maybe we need to go back to dating with this one, Cancer. We start slow, you know, bringing flowers. Saying, you know, you, you look beautiful. How about we go out and see what happens? We have choose love. Choose love, have patience and dating. Choose love. You always have choice. Make yours with love. Oh, isn't it beautiful? We have the two of cups and now we have yin and yang, right? Yeah. Together you make a complete, oh my God, a complete, fully uh, rounded energy. Worthiness. Oh my God, right? So this connection is worthy. This person is worthy. You are and you know it, right? Oh, beautiful. And Cancer speak the language of love. Loving words have the power to change lives, including your own. Choose love and speak with love. Beautiful. Such a beautiful, beautiful energy. Let me have some romance angels and then we look into the energies we need to get back into the flow. We do have pay attention to the red flags. It might be, right? Something that we need to be cautious about in regards to this love. We do have make the effort and honestly it does feel like a little bit um, cancer might be on your side. Choose love, speak the language of love and now make the effort. Okay? Worth dating. For some of you, this person worth dating. And honeymoon. Not only dating, but taking this person on a honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together and speaking of worthiness, right? Worth waiting for, Cancer. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Such an amazing, beautiful reading. Now let's have some um, energies we need to put back into the flow. We might have blocked them without knowing. We do have, I understand failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn, right? So we learn from our mistakes. We put the energy of learning back into the flow, being open mind. Open minded, sorry. We do have guilt, failure and guilt. What's going on, Cancer? What kind of energy are you um, carrying with you? Guilt, I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. So whatever you feel responsible for or guilty about, and you feel like you might be a failure in this one, no, baby, you are not. We do have integrity. You demonstrate the truth and honesty of your soul and manifest love with your every action. Integrity. You demonstrate the truth and honesty of your soul and manifest love with your every action. We do have happiness. Oh, you definitely deserve this. I am aware that being happy means that I'm on the right path. Um, cancer. We are in a five of pentacles energy, right? Feeling lonely a bit, but hey, I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path and somebody needs to sleep. Surrender to rest and sleep, bottom of the deck. To prevent burnout, slow down, honor your need for quiet time and peaceful sleep to rejuvenate your mind, body and spirit. So Cancer, this is all that I have for you guys. Oh my God, this is such an amazing reading. I wish you nothing but the best. I wanted to stay strong and safe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.